Welcome everyone, and on behalf of Mr. Schneider and myself, you know, we really enjoy the fact that you are watching these. And I hope that it's uplifting for you, you know, that you know, it puts a little bit of spark in your day, you know, and it also just maybe adds a bit of spiritual uplifting that would not have been there otherwise. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the grace of God, the love of Christ, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with each one of you. Brethren, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Lord Jesus, who came to gather the nations into the peace of God's kingdom, Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you come in word and sacrament to strengthen us in holiness. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you will come in glory with salvation for your people. Lord, have mercy. And may Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of, the Fa Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. <clears throat> God of light, giver of every good gift, put into our hearts the love of your name, so that by deepening our sense of reverence, we may nurture, you may nurture in us what is good, and by your watchful care, keep safe what you have nurtured. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. A reading from the book of the prophet Jeremiah. You duped me, O Lord, and I let myself be duped. You were too strong for me, and you triumphed. All the day I am the object of laughter. Everyone mocks me. Whenever I speak, I must cry out. Violence and outrage is my message. The word of the Lord has brought me derision and reproach all the day. I say to myself, I will not mention him. I will speak his name no more. But then it becomes like fire burning in my heart, imprisoned in my bones. I grow weary holding it in. I cannot endure it. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. My soul is thirsting for you, O Lord my God. My soul is thirsting for you, O Lord my God. O God, you are my God whom I see. For you my flesh pines and my soul thirsts. Like the earth, parched, lifeless, and without water. 
Thus have I gazed toward you in the sanctuary to see your power and your glory. For your kindness is a greater good than life. My lips shall glorify you. <clears throat> my soul is thirsting for you, O Lord my God. Thus will I bless you while I live, lifting up my hands. I will call upon your name. As with the riches of a banquet shall my soul be satisfied. And with exalted lips my mouth shall praise you. My soul is thirsting for you, O Lord my God. You are my help, and in the shadow of your wings I shout for joy. My soul clings fast to you, and your right hand upholds me. My soul is thirsting for you, O Lord, my God. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. I urge you, brothers and sisters, by the mercies of God, to offer your bodies as a living sacrifice, holy and pleasing to you. Your worship, your spiritual worship. Do not conform yourselves to this age, but be transformed by the renewal of your mind, that you may discern what is the will of God, what is good and pleasing and perfect. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. <clears throat> Alleluia, Alleluia. May the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ enlighten the eyes of our hearts, that we may know what is the hope that belongs to our call. Alleluia, Alleluia. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus began to show his disciples that he must go to Jerusalem, suffer greatly from the elders, the chief priests and the scribes, and be killed, and on the third day be raised. And then Peter said, took Jesus aside and began to rebuke him. God forbid, Lord, no such thing shall ever happen to you. He turned, said to Peter, Get behind me, Satan. You are an obstacle to me. You are not thinking as God does, but as human beings do. Then Jesus said to his disciples, Whoever wishes to come after me must deny himself, take up his cross, and follow me. For whoever wishes to save his life will lose it, but whoever loses his life for my sake will find it. What profit would there be for one to gain the whole world and forfeit his life? Or what can one give in exchange for his life? For the Son of Man will come with his angels and in his Father's glory, and then he will repay all according to his conduct. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise be to you, Lord Jesus Christ. St. Francis of Assisi, St. Peter, St. Paul. In the lives of everyone who leaves a mark on history, there are two moments. One is the moment that they are born, and the second is the moment that they realize what they are to do with their lives. When we think of a person like Cardinal Newman, for instance, you know, he wrote about the purpose of life. And he said that you know, God gives us a purpose for our own lives. And that purpose is a unique purpose. He goes on to say that sometimes we may never realize it, what it is while we're living, but at the end of our lives, we will come to understand 
what it was that we were to do. We could reflect on our gospel today and, and think about purpose, you know, and think about a higher thing to which we are called. You know, every one of us is. But for our Lord today, at the beginning of that gospel, he says, you know, I must go down to Jerusalem. There I will suffer, and there I will die, and there I will be raised on the third day. You know, he states what his purpose in life is, but he also states that he's living for a higher reason and a higher cause. And later on, you know, in the Garden of Gethsemane, he's going to say, not my will, but your will be done. We could think of the world that we live in and say to ourselves, how often is it a me world? You know, it's me plan. You know, it's me dream. You know, it's me toys. It's me gadgets. And that's what causes a lot of difficulty in our lives because, you know, when we're always thinking about just me, you know, then every time somebody else's behavior doesn't match up to what we want it to be, you know, we become upset and disturbed. We could reflect on how, you know, people, you know, why, you know, is there so much difficulty and people are fired from their jobs? You know, why is it that people fight over a parking stall, you know, in a grocery store parking lot? Or why is it, you know, that people just seethe when somebody cuts them off in traffic? So a lot of times it boils down to because we're living in a me world. You know, everything is supposed to please me. But Jesus today turns that all upside down. You know, and he says that you know, we are to live you know, for others. You know, that we are to live the you world. And he says that by saying in the gospel, you know, those who would follow me must take up their cross and follow me. What I would point out is that it's a voluntary thing. You know, it's a taking up of the cross by our own volition. You know, and it's a carrying of the cross by our own volition. But as he says, you know, and you know, also as St. Francis of Assisi says, it's by taking up that cross you know, and it's by living for others, you know, that we come into eternal life. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell, and on the third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven, and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. And from there he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. And by the mystery of this water and wine, may we come to share in the divinity of Christ, who humbled himself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become 
our spiritual dread. Blessed be God forever. <clears throat> With humble spirit and contrite heart, may we be accepted by you, O Lord, and may our sacrifice in your sight this day be pleasing to you, Lord God. And Lord, wash away our iniquities and cleanse us of our sins. And fellow Christians, pray that the gifts and the Mass that we offer may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. May this sacred offering, O Lord, confer on us always the blessing of salvation, that what it celebrates in mystery, it may accomplish in power through Christ our Lord. And the Lord be with you and with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. And let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For he is the salvation of the world, the life of the human race, the resurrection of the dead. Through him, the host of angels adores your majesty, and rejoices in your presence forever. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in one chorus of exalted praise as we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. And therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope, Donald our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face, and have mercy on us all, we pray, 
And with the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that, by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not at our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. And may the peace of the Lord be with you always. And we extend our peace to you wherever you are. Thank you for being with us. And you may want to take a few moments just to think of the Lord and invite that Lord into your heart as we celebrate communion together. May this mingling of the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ bring eternal life to us who receive it. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. And may the body and blood of Christ keep us safe for eternal life. Let us pray. Renewed by this bread from the heavenly table, we beseech you, Lord, that, being the food of charity, it may confirm our hearts and stir us to serve you in our neighbor, through Christ our Lord. And the Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life.
Thanks be to God.